The Downtown Comedy Club is a club started by me and Kevin Gagne. Yeah, Kevin Gagne and myself started this club about in January. And we've been, uh, it's music and, and, and comedy together, you know. Uh, me and some uh, younger comedians get together every Friday and Saturday at 9 o'clock. And the, the difference between us and everything in L.A. is that we're downtown, you know. And we are a part of the bill of downtown. There are no other clubs, no comedy club is downtown, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, I know I'm black and quite often we do have a black um, uh, contingent. Sometimes all black comedians, but believe me. I'm from America, I'm from New York, Louisiana, I believe in physiology, not necessarily biology. There are a whole lot of white comedians who come here, sometimes we have all white guys, you know, are they inundated sometimes. Sometimes we have, but usually we have a, no matter what we have, we have a hilariously funny array of people uh, who are trying to build it down. As a matter of fact, uh, Mayor Villaraigosa and Councilman Weasel have given us an award, an award. Uh, you know, we're a small business, uh, me and Ms. Mr. Gagne, and also uh, the L.A. Weekly has declared us the best uh, comedy option downtown. I don't want to embarrass this guy, but I think he's one of the most talented people in the business. Uh, a man who's very unsung, I think he should have had his sitcom or a couple of movies first. Uh, you know, but you're going to know what I mean, because if you ever see him hooking up with Kevin Gagne, you're going to know what I mean. Uh, you know, but you're going to know what I mean, because if you ever see him who's lying in this anyway, you know that this man does a brilliant work with a brilliant funny man. Put your hands together for Mr. Greg Probst. Yeah. We have two more people running for president in this country. We're two years away from the fucking election, right? That speaks to Bush's enormous popularity right now. Yeah. Now, on the Republican side, forget it. It's like the ten fattest, ugliest, whitest dudes with fucking bad college football coach hair ever assembled in one place. But the best and brightest of 1954. Or 1594. Either way, they can have a little shirt and a hat Yeah. On the Democratic side, we have a black guy running, right? And that, no, I know. This is America. People are like, black guy. <laughs> Sneaky, that takes early to be in the town. And out there, he's all accomplished and well spoken, and he's written two books, and he's all smart and everything. And I fucked my sister while I'm beating her because my team lost, and I let him have it. I can't, and if you guys black guys going to change everything, it's going to be the black house instead of the white house. And we're going to have the nomination. Now he's going to send the national anthem. <laughs> It's a persuasive argument by Grant Chin. Now, Barack Obama has written two books. Our president, after six years as the decider, can't pronounce the word nuclear. But I hear people say this on TV about Barack Obama. Well, he's not that black. <laughs> wow. This is America. Nobody's not anything. How lucky you want him to be? You want him to come bumping through the hood in a super sport, pumping too short, fucking jump out of his hoopty wearing baggies, got a grill on, smoking a blow on the sideways, baseball hat, a rock chain, texting people and beating on hoes. Is that what would make America happy? The last part of the rock thing? The presidential hoopty has stumped it from a 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Notice how the rims keep spinning long after the leader of the free world has made his entrance. <laughs> we have a woman running for president, and again, it's the same situation. I know. Men are like a woman. I get love for a woman. My dick is all small, and I got some tape by Edna, and she seems forceful, and my mom will come be jacking off. <laughs> For all these reasons why Hillary can't and shouldn't and wouldn't and not and couldn't and shit. I love these reasons why Hillary's not going to do it. People say shit like, Hillary Clinton's got a bad personality. <laughs> really? I forgot about Dick Cheney's wow factor. He's <laughs> lighting up the red sky and Hillary's fucking coming. What's the one they always say? A woman's not tough enough to be the leader of the free world and push the button if need be. <laughs> really? A woman's not tough enough? Mm. Know this about women. Women have ugly guys' babies. <laughs> I don't know what you call tough, but holy cow. <laughs> Having to take the faulty genetic material of some fat, no-neck fucking dude. Wearing a fucking Raiders 
jersey that he hasn't fit in since 1974, whose DNA is so compromised and genetic material has so been disabused that there's no more guanine and thionine holding the double helix together. His chromosomes are loose and sleep around like a plastic bag from a used car lot. <laughs> Taking that shit inside you and giving birth to his fast squalling, no neck, crack addicted fucking progeny so that he can jack you in 16 years' time when you're driving down Spring Street? I don't know what you call tough. I think women can do everything at once, really. Oh, yes, you're so huge. Oh, my God. What an earth shattering experience this is. You're taking me to dizzy heights with ecstasy and I have not. Your enormous manhood is like a raging locomotive that cannot be stopped by any means necessary. Thank goodness you've taken Viagra, so this can continue.